So good morning guys. In this video, we'll see how to set uh, units and limits and boundary in the AutoCAD software. Uh, these are the five basic steps you have to do whenever you start your design or drawing in the AutoCAD software. So I'm having, I'm using the AutoCAD 2013 version. So dub by double click this, software, this icon, open the software. So click the new option. And it will ask you to select the template. In this template, you have to select ACAD. That means AutoCAD. Click this one. Open. So once you enter into the software, the first step you have to set is you have to set the window in 2D or 3D mode uh, based on your requirement. Okay. So as for us, uh, for you, uh, we are going to study only the 2D. So here in the right bottom corner. You can able to see a setting icon, click this icon. Uh, here you will have uh, three, four options, drafting annotation, 3D basics, 3D modeling, AutoCAD classic. Uh, for 2D diagram, uh, for 2D drawing, you have to set the more window in drafting and annotation. In some systems, uh, it will be in 3D basics or 3D modeling. So you have to change the mode to drafting annotation. You can set it by clicking this one. When you click this one, uh, can able to uh, see a tick mark uh, next to it. That means now the mode is activated. Now the drafting and annotation mode is activated. Just click. Now the window is set for the drafting annotation mode. Okay. Next, next step you have to do is you have to set the units. Whatever the design or drawing you do, the basic uh, requirement is dimension. For dimension, we'll have units. So you have to set the units. So this is the command bar. So you can able to see a type of command. This is a command bar. What are the command we are going to uh, give it as an input? So you have to type it here. So in some system, if you are not getting the command bar, you have to press control nine. Press control nine, you can get this command bar. So once you get the command bar, type, first step is to set the units. Type units, press space. Uh, in this uh, AutoCAD, to complete a command, you have to press space or enter. To cancel a command, you have to press escape, press space. Now a dialog box appears. In this, you have to set the units to millimeters. Here you will have a lot of units. Set the units to millimeters. Click the millimeters and click OK. So next step is you have to set the limits. The limit, you have, uh, you have to set the limit based on your uh, drawing area requirement. So for example, normally we will do the design or drawing in a A4 sheet. Uh, totally there are five sheets a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 each having a different dimension if you take a4 sheet uh, the the sheet uh, generally we use day to day life this is a4 sheet uh, the size of the a4 sheet is 210 into 297 mm so if you take a3 uh, a3 size sheet uh, it is 420 into 297 so based on the requirement we have to set the uh, limits so here i'm going to set the a3 uh, size a3 sheet size as a limit. So go to the command bar, type LIMITS limits, press space. It will ask you to specify the lower left corner of the sheet. So I'm going to specify the lower left corner at the origin of this uh, software. So this software will look like a graph. So, okay, this x, y, z, uh, sorry, x and y. So this point is the origin. Uh, in the upward direction, we have positive y, downward negative y. Uh, positive x and negative x so i am going to fix my lower left corner on the origin so origin you have to specify 0 comma 0 after specifying 0 comma 0 press space now it will ask you to specify the upper right corner so upper right corner uh, is you have to set based on the uh, sheet size you are selecting so i am here i am selecting a3 size so i am going to set 420 comma 297 <coughs> Now I have set the limits. The next step you have to do is you have to switch on the limits. Again, you type LIMITS limits and here you can see two options on and off. Select on. Once you set the limits, the next step you have to do is you have to zoom it. Uh, type Z O O M zoom, press space and click the first option all. 
so why we are doing this zoom option because uh, in some systems what will happen so for example if i'm going to uh, if i'm selecting a line so i'm going to so if you take a line option if i go through this uh, window you can see some numbers is showing right uh, here the scale is very less it is showing around 80 or 82 in some time what will happen uh, in this scale will uh, this here it is showing 90 right in some uh, system it will show in lakhs or crores at that uh, in that uh, that much uh, amount uh, the your screen is zoomed out so you in that case if you are drawing a line for 10 mm uh, for example uh, you take if you are in a lakhs scale for drawing a 10 mm line it will appear like a point so you'll have confusion whether the line is formed or not to avoid the thing what we are doing first set the limit and uh, type the zoom command zoom and all if you do it then you won't get this uh, the scale confusion once you zoom it then uh, you have to draw the boundary so now we have set the boundary but it is not visible uh, to do it what we are we are going to put a line at the boundary so in order to move the screen in order to move the screen, what you have to do, like this, you have to, uh, in order to fan the window, what you have to do, you have to press the center button, the scroll button on the mouse, hold it, and then move the cursor, move the mouse, so that you can move the, you can fan the window. So what I am going to do, so I am going to put a boundary for that A3 size. So it is asking, uh, go to the line, uh, type line, command press space it is asking you to specify the first point so i am going to uh, specify the first point at the origin so origin is 0 comma 0 so to, to draw a line you need two points so you can specify two coordinates or one coordinate and length so here i am going to specify the one coordinate and length so the first point i am going to specify it as 0 comma 0 press space now this asking the second point uh, instead of uh, specifying the coordinates, I am going to specify the length. So I am going to specify uh, 420. So before uh, specifying the length, what uh, you have to do, you have to make ensure the line is straight, means the line is horizontal or not. Uh, if you see visually, uh, it will look like a horizontal line. But some cases, it will, there will be a, some differences. Okay. To ensure that you are drawing a straight line, what you have to do, you have to switch on the auto mode. To switch on the auto mode, press F8. Press F8. Once you press F8, here a command appears, auto is on. That means now your line is straight. So now you type 420, press space. So move the uh, cursor to this end point of this line and then move in the vertical direction. So while moving the cursor, don't press any key on the mouse. Just place the, uh, move the cursor in the upward direction and give 297. Again, press space and then move the cursor to the left again 420 press space then move the cursor to the downward again 297 after giving the after specifying the boundary press escape so now we have drawn the boundary this is our boundary within this boundary we are going to do our design or drawings outside the boundary you can't draw so see if i'm going to click a line and uh, make a line outside the boundary see in the both the command line you can see this showing outside the limits that means you are outside the limits so once the limit is on you can't draw outside the limit in some cases if you want to draw outside the limits what you have to do you have to again you have to type the limits command and you have to switch off the limit command then you can able to draw outside the bound okay. so again you type the zoom or all so now we have set the boundary to our uh, window so now we can able to draw inside this box so this is these are the five basic commands you have to do whenever you enter into the autocad software thank you